man. I got 500 more episodes of this. Naruto wasn't that bad. Naruto? Three, two, yeah. One, go! I got far with oh. the manga. You waited until it was done and then you watched it all? You're, you're a brave man. Okay, manga, manga's not bad. Thank well, you, you, Bam, for... Oh god, how many months is that? Well, thanks, Bam. Months. Eight, nineteen months! That's it? <laughs> <laughs> Big up smash. I, I, to, to be fair, to be fair, sometimes my resub doesn't happen. Like, I've noticed it a few times, especially with, with Charlie. Oh, because of my other account. <laughs> oh, that's right, you had a different account. <laughs> I forgot. Hey, I mean... That's like that's ancient times. Easy to forget. <laughs> yeah. Love you, bam. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming yeah, I'm assuming Gale was rocking the Shulk. I I have not actually ever seen his Shulk, but I have known about it. Like one couple of characters that he like uses here and there. Yeah, Gale uses too many characters. I think he has like at least 10 tournament worthy characters. Yeah, I think that's what, like, you know, kind of like a. Uh, basically, uh, a master of none, I would say. But definitely, I think when he becomes like a master of a character, it's like you said, Z-Fly. It's definitely his hero who, like, really shines. Oh, for sure. I know he likes to bring out his pit when it comes to, like, the. Uh, when push comes to shove, you know. We, t we tend to see the pit come out more often than the hero, but I think he's a hero main. Just yeah, hasn't realized it yet. I think he's doing a really Don't good job. Oh, yeah, he got hit by a um, special, but that was—he's doing a really good job with Shulk. Like he knows, in this matchup, I don't have to be anywhere near Game and Watch. I can just hit all the aerials in the world. I can space everything, and Game and Watch will have to cry me a river because he does not like the—he lacks the range in against me, basically. So. Yeah, and of course, you can't forget about Montant. Montant. Uh, Playing the 2D Warrior. Uh, looking at his bracket, I don't recognize any names, but good on him to make it this far, regardless. I mean, it's no yeah. easy feat to make top 24 at MSM Online. Not only that, like if you're like me, who's been modding MSM Online, having to go through uh, various lag checks, that <laughs> can be frustrating at times. But like I said, it's kind of like one of those matchups that I just feel like Shulk definitely accelerates against characters like Game & Watch. Game & Watch isn't that heavy, he's still like relatively like a top 10 light character. I can't tell you what number he is in terms of lightness, but he's still very, very light. So definitely he will lose a lot to things like, you know, being in, uh, fighting Buster Manon is going to be really tough for him because that forces him out of shield options. But also, it's getting hit in Smash R is really hurtful for a game to watch. Like, he'll die significantly earlier than you would. You might actually think he'll die. So, it's really good the fact that just Gale just knows. Like, I'll, all I have to do is just hit Nair, hit that a, hit that Y button, hit that A button at the same time, and like, and this is the situation that we're at. And then when he gets the high percent, right? If, if he was actually able to do, um, I totally forgot the name of the tech, but I think it's called. Um, another, like, I think it's the style storage, he will actually be able to not worry about getting being in uh, grounded. Because then he could just go to shield art, and no matter what Montian could try to do, he'll be fine in shield art, because that's the pot armor Renato. Well, let's get hit by a few pieces of breakfast. Let's drop it down with the back air. Gale, swinging again. Yeah, I, I think it's kind of, oh, close, close, close. This might be it, yeah. And it's because he's in smash art. Yeah, interesting. He, he didn't switch out of Smash Art. Yeah, he didn't switch out. If you know how to do Dial Storage, like, I'm not really familiar how to actually implement the tech, but if you know how to do it, like I said, being grounded, being caught in a rapid jab, uh, even a kill, even a kill, quote unquote, some kill confirms, it's nothing for Shulk. It's it's literally being put into plot armor. So I'm assuming that I'm, I know the Shulk. His Shulk is like one of the, in terms of the spectrum of his uh, character skills. I think that's probably, you know, a little bit on the lower side. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's actually the first time I've seen his Shulk, so that makes sense. Looked like that there were some situations where he didn't seem as comfortable or as knowledgeable, but 
like we said before, you know, Gayo has a bunch of characters, and you can see another one coming out. Now we got Sonic. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that name, but thank you, young gentleman with the weird name who just followed us. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! This is definitely one of those one of the matchups I'm not too familiar with, honestly. Like for Sonic, but I feel like the way that Ko plays, it's not gonna be too difficult for him. Why is that? It's just because like his he doesn't play. I would not. I don't think any Sonic necessarily plays full time. Maybe some of them do, unfortunately. But like. For Gao, he's very good at hit the hit and run playstyle at times. And so far what he's doing is like he gets in, he gets the hit, and then he goes back out. See what I'm saying? Like he he looks for those opportunities where he can actually just get a hit, get out, and then rinse and repeat until he just finds another way to get in. I've seen him mix it up a couple times. Like he'll do something like spin dash and he'll go to home attack, spin dash into back air. He, there's a couple things that he knows what to do. Unfortunately getting caught in the ground is a down smash is not gonna be good, but and not only that, giving um giving Game of Watch a little bit of a lead can sometimes be hurtful. Just because like he is an anti-air machine, so if you're trying to hit him with like a couple of aerials, I think it's gonna be really tough for Sonic. But uh Tony Z Tang thinks Game of Watch uh, says Game of Watch wins the matchup. So I can probably see it. Why? Because he has things like up smash, he has things like air, down smash. There's a couple of tools that he actually has that can stop Sonic that I see. But we'll see what Gayo can do with the stock. Being a stock behind him. Yeah, well, Montan's definitely doing a good job of maintaining stage control. He eats a back air right there, but no worries. He's going to be able to make it back to stage without any issues. These down smashes that keep coming out from Montan is really what... Gayo needs to be looking out for. He keeps not only here in game two, but in game one as well. He kept getting caught, and really it just led to his demise. There you go, down smash, getting hit off stage again into another down smash. Yeah, it's cool, and that's kind of put like Gayo on the back, and he's about to lose his winner's side life right here against Montian. And uh, without playing Hero a single game, I kind of respect it maybe against Game of Watch, just because you want to be careful with Bucket. Oh wait, man, I got a sword. <laughs> That's fair. That's what do fair. I gotta be careful for? <laughs> I think I think the only character I would have preferured him against maybe like is go go pit, but I think it's coming out a little too late. This is quite the help of time for Gao. I, I don't want to call it curtains, but you know, seeing that 105 yeah, and Game and Watch still alive, it's uh, yeah, working on three stock. All right, pushing Monte into center stage, charging those up smashes, but oh. a back air connects. The starting frame. Yep. You know, I was I saw the death sparks and I was I was positive that Gayo got hit. <laughs> positive Gayo gets here here now, but yeah, I was positive he was gonna get hit too back there. That was really really scary. But unfortunately, 